Okay, today in this tutorial, I'm going to go over uh, basic contouring of an object. Contouring provides a means of serial slicing up a solid into a, uh, a group of uh, planes that you can use to describe uh, a, a solid uh, in, a, in a serial manner. Okay, so let's move to the front window. And let's get that centered here. You notice that I move this off to the side from the origin. I often do that when I'm uh, doing these uh, basic contouring operations. And here I have my object. And I'm going to type in the command contour. Okay. You can access the command through the command line by typing contour. You can also do curve. Curve from object contour. Or you can also go over to your menu here and find the contour command located there. So there's three distinct ways that you can do that. I prefer to use the command line. Okay, the contour base plane, the contour plane base point is uh, a, a line, think of it as a line that you know that the contour is going to be drawn, created perpendicular to that line. So in this case, I'm going to draw a vertical line. With a vertical line, you're going to get horizontal, contours and with a horizontal line you're going to get vertical contours so we're going to do it like so the distance between contours in this case I'm using a dimension of 0.23 for cardboard always caliper and check your dimensions before you uh, do your run your contour command it's a good idea and I'm going to leave all of these at the default for right now and so I'm going to hit enter and it's going to draw in my contours uh, because I have this layer selected, this blue curves layer, it's going to put my objects on, on that layer so that if I turn that off and I go to my perspective window, I have these uh, blue uh, contours. Okay, now, and let's just call these, uh, we're going to call that layer H curves so that we can, that's my horizontal contour a representation and I'm going to call this one uh, V underscore curves and I'm going to make that the active layer and I'm going to paint that layer orange for right now okay now I'm going to turn off the vertical curves and I'm going to bring back my object and we're going to go to the front window and I'm going to come up here to the shelf and get my contour command again I'm going to select that object to contour press enter this time I'm going to draw my contour base plane that way. I'm going to use, still use 0.23, hit enter. And as you can see, I have been able to create a series of vertical contours in this case. Okay, and let's make this a darker color. I'm going to paint uh, both of these black now so that we can see them more clearly in the video. Okay. Uh, now, in order to make this a solid so that you can then uh, bring your object into Keyshot for rendering, if you want to render an approximation of what your final object, final form is going to be, and this is a good way to do form expiration, we're going to start with this one. We're going to create a new layer, and we're going to move that down. We're going to call this new layer V Solids. We're going to create another new layer. We're going to call that layer H underscore solids. Okay, and let's make the V layer, v, uh, layer solid. And in this case, we'll open up all our windows. And let's select this and center it in all of our windows. And I'm going to select all of my vertical contours, like so. And I'm going to use my extrude command, extrude curve, extrude CRV command. Okay, and in this case, I want to um, do both sides, no, solid, yes, delete input, no, and I'm going to leave the rest of these alone, and for the extrude distance, I'm going to use 0.23, uh, the same distance I use for my contours, and so that now, <clears throat> I have a representation of the vertical solids and that's what my contoured object would look like if it were sliced 
vertically. Okay, and I could use this model. I could export this to Keyshot. I could also go in and do like every other one and put them on separate layers if I wanted to use uh, different materials. Let's go back and let's do the horizontal ones this time. So we're gonna we're gonna turn on um, the horizontal curves. Uh, we're gonna make that, and we're gonna make the H solids layer active. Let's turn that layer off so that we have our horizontal curves. We're gonna open up our windows. And in this case, we're going to select all of these, and we're going to go up and we're going to do our extrude curve command once again. And you notice that Rhino saves our previous settings, which we want, right? Uh, both sides no, solids yes, extrusion distance is all the same. And we can hit enter. And let's turn off our curves. And now we have a representation of our model as horizontal solids. And once again, this model you could use and you could import it directly into Keyshot, which is one of the uh, really nice ways of um, uh, doing serial form studies of uh, models that you uh, construct. Now, in the next tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to add the cores to your uh, to, to your solid object so that when we contour it, we, uh, it's cored and set up, registration cores, it's cored and set up for laser cutter. But this concludes this tutorial.